Okay, we have a Diablo 4 update. Let's see what this could be all about. Adam Fletcher, Pez Radar, your boy. 1.3.2 patch notes are now available for Diablo 4. This patch introduces uber unique crafting. Wow. 1.3.2 will ship next Tuesday, February 13th on all platforms. Interesting. So instead of getting the leaderboards on February 13th, guys, we're getting crafting. Well, let's take a deep dive into the patch notes. So if you head over to the Diablo 4 patch notes, 1.3.2, that's the patch, February 13th, 2024. That's the date it'll be dropped in the game. So it's not live now, but will be on February 13th. Let's check it out. Game updates, Uber Unique Crafting. Not crafting, Uber Unique Crafting. Developers notes. Uber Unique items are highly sought after. With Season of Blood, we introduce target farming Uber Unique items with Uber Durial to give players another source of acquiring this type of item. Remember, Uber Uniques drop generally in the game, but when Season of Blood was dropped, farming Durial was going to give you a higher chance, a higher chance to get an Uber Unique. So players were farming Durial in order to get a higher chance of getting an Uber Unique. We'll talk more about that in a second. However, we want to give players increased autonomy in obtaining their desired Uber Unique by addressing feedback that expressed how acquiring duplicate or undesired Uber Unique items lessens the feeling of triumph. Not that the drop rate is low. That's not a complaint. The complaint is we're getting so many duplicates. What are we doing with them? A new system empowers players to make use of duplicate and undesired Uber Unique items by salvaging them for a new resource, which can be used to eventually craft an Uber Unique of their choosing. Additionally, the chance for Uber Unique items to drop everywhere, but in Uber Durial encounters, has been increased. Let's read some more. Uber Unique items can now be salvaged to provide a new resource. Interesting. Resplendent Sparks. Players can now bring five resplendent sparks to the alchemist and transmute an Uber Unique of their choice. The Refine Resources tab at the alchemist has been renamed Transmute and the option to craft an Uber Unique item can be found under that tab. Note that the preview window for crafting an Uber Unique won't display the item affixes. So you're going to have to wait and see to find out what the affixes are on the Uber Unique of your desire. The drop chance of Uber Uniques items acquired outside of the Uber Durial encounters has been increased. And if we just look over very quickly, looks like the other patch note fixes just look like game fixes, bug fixes, season of the construct, lunar, gameplay fixes, user, user interface and user experience, miscellaneous, and that's about it. Okay, so we have crafting in the game. Uh, sorry, we have uber unique crafting in the game. Sounds like this is going to be dropping on February 13th, the date that was published to be the date that leaderboards were coming until it was retracted. So instead of the leaderboards coming on February 13th, they are now implementing this uber unique crafting. And the intent is they've received so much negative feedback about all these uber uniques and duplicate uber uniques that players have that, oh my God, how are they going to fix this unbelievable problem of all these players having all these uber uniques that they don't use? 
Um, so their earth shattering development has come up with, well, let's break down the uber uniques that players, let's allow players to break down the uber uniques that they have that either is a duplicate, either it's one that they don't foresee using and let's allow them to break it down and then, um, go and craft an uber unique of their choice. And I guess the other takeaway is that the drop chance of uber unique items have been increased outside of the Durial fight. Now, a couple of comments on this. Um, number one, uh, we don't know. We're assuming, we assume that you break down an uber unique, it's going to give you one resplendent spark. Let's assume that, right? So you're going to need five duplicate or five uber uniques that you don't need and uh in order for you to craft one that you do want and hopefully the affixes that you get after transmuting the resplendent sparks are going to be ones that are going to be good to you so i have a couple of comments about this um earth shattering game development design um number one there's no mention of okay you've increased the drop chance the drop chance rate outside of durial for uber uniques by how much 0.1 you see where i'm going with this like they don't mention it and they don't mention it on <laughs> it's done on purpose because they don't want to tell you uh, looks like everything's a secret here. Everything is uh, kept to their chest. Um, so to me, that's a little bit suspicious. And sorry, um, they've earned the right for the player base to be suspicious. Um, that's number one. Number two, who in the heck is getting all these uber unique drops that they're going to be able to, first of all, accumulate five duplicates or five unwanted uber uniques that they're going to be able to break it down and get one now the idea in general is a good one if we're talking about that it's being introduced into a game that has some depth in it and i'm not going to get into uh, I'm not going to get into that topic. You, if you've watched any of my videos, you're very well aware of how I feel, how um, empty this game is. It, it, it's, it's incredible. But in the face of all this negativity that's going on in this game, in the face of all the drama with the leaderboards, in the face of a dwindling and rotting player base, this is the best thing. They can do and that in itself speaks a lot of what this team is capable of coming up with this is um this falls short it's not even in the same universe uh, this is um i don't know you guys tell me you tell me if this is something that is really going to hit the mark. Is this going to be a W? Uh, the amount of time that is required to farm the materials to fight Duriel, then the amount of times you're going to have to fight Duriel in order for an uber unique to drop, that combination is a deadly combination. Deadly with your time you are literally going to have to all you all you will do is farm mats and fight doriel this is what you need to do in order to efficiently get an uber unique now they said they've increased the drop rate outside of doriel but they didn't they failed to mention the percentage so one can argue, well, Sammy, it says right there, they've increased the drop rate of uniques outside of Doriel, Uber unique, sorry. Uh, 
So no, we don't have to farm mats. We don't have to fight Duriel. They've increased the drop rate outside of Duriel. Great. Cannot wait for everybody to come into my comment section and tell me, hey, Sammy, you know, like a day after February 14th, the day after this patch drops. Hey, Sammy, I, you know, I played for three hours and I got two Ruby Uniques. I'm not going to get one of those comments. Okay. Now, of course, a player that's going to be able to dedicate 15, 16 hours a day and farm Uber Durial and or play the game uh, for 15, 16 hours a day. Yeah, eventually you're going to get Uber Uniques to drop. Eventually, you're going to accumulate five that are duplicates or not ones that you need. And yeah, you'll be able to break down these Uber Uniques and get this resplendent sparks and you'll be able to craft a new Uber Unique. Um, so of course it's possible. Anything's possible. You know, if 100% of your time is dedicated to this, eventually you're going to get it. Uh, how long? Only time will tell. We'll see what happens. Um, but this is not a W. This is another L. This is another uh, delay tactic. This is... I applaud them with the fact that this is some sort of crafting mechanism. But again, it's another useless burn of your time that gets you really at the end of the day, gets you what? What does it get you? Even if the Uber unique drop rate was increased 20x, okay? Even if you get them, Okay, let's say you have all the Uber Uniques in the game. So what? So what? Hallelujah. Congratulations. You have all the Uber Uniques. Doesn't change the fact that this game is empty. Does not change that. And this is my problem with this patch note. That the end of the day, smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Another waste of time. The only thing that's being done to this game right now is the yin and yang approach of buffs. The yin and yang approach, I'm talking about classes, the yin and yang approach of XP gains. So whenever they feel a little pinch from the player base, they, oh, guess what guys? We amped up the XP Lunar event. Oh, guess what guys? We, this weekend, 40% XP buff, you know, everybody, uh, not everybody, players go play it and, you know, you hear all this feedback that it only lasts X amount of time. It's not consistent. You know, it's smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors. Now, I hate being negative and I've said this a million times, but we now have gotten to the point where this is almost laughable with the stuff that they coming that they're coming out with and they're still not being transparent about it. They're increasing the drop rate, they don't mention the increase in the drop rate. Come on. What are you hiding? You don't get detailed. You don't share details when you don't want to share details. And this development team only shares details when they have to, when they're put up against the wall and they must, or else it's bust. Um, so the fact that they didn't include the drop rate, because it's not high, it's not high. They are in the face of a disastrous, another disastrous season and they are scrambling internally trying to figure out how do we keep everybody here because they're exiting the door. It's like someone pulled the fire alarm at a party and everybody's running out the door and there's three or four party organizers trying to tell everyone there's no fire, there's no fire. Everybody stay in, stay in. You know, meanwhile... People can see the smoke coming out of the kitchen, right? So um, they're grasping at straws right now. They are grasping at straws. And when you're grasping at straws, you implement things that are not polished, 
They're not finished. They're not tested. It's just weak, 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 weak. And it's sad. I, I can understand the fact that you can make poor decisions and you implement things and they don't hit the mark, um, but they're solid things and, and you tried your best. But this is, this is like, you know, you're playing darts like this, right? And hoping you hit the bullseye. Um, and, and, and we know the success rate of that, not high. Um, so this is uh, another sad, another sad patch note. And um, I, don't, I don't know what to do. This week has, um, as I stated in my other D4 videos, my previous ones actually, as you guys all know or should know, uh, the new president right now this week and, and this week is conducting town halls and one-on-one -on -one meetings and with all the Activision Blizzard entertainment people. And I'm sure obviously the development team of Diablo 4 is part of that as well. Um, so it's going to be the next 7 to 14 days is going to be very interesting on that side as well. What happens if any changes happen? And and we are going to discuss that uh, in more detail as this evolves, whether nothing happens or whether something happens. Either way, we are going to discuss it because to me, it's an indicator of where this game is going to me. And, and I'll explain later uh, when it happens. Um, but so there's that side of it. And then this is, then we have the continuing drama. Um, it's now the end of the first week of February. What potentially next week was supposed, the beginning of next week was supposed to be the leaderboards being dropped until it was retracted. Um, so we ha we still don't know when the leaderboards are coming. Now, again, I personally will not be playing season three. And I personally, uh, even when I started playing season three, before I stopped playing season three, um, even before that, I really didn't care about leaderboards for me personally, but I know for a good part of the player base, it was important to them. And it would have brought um, some excitement to those players, absolutely. The, the streamers and content creators, the ones that are playing Diablo 4, I don't know, there's a couple of them now. Um, all the other ones have gone and, and play other games. Uh, but they, obviously, they are looking forward to it because it gives them something different to do because right now they're doing the same meaningless thing over and over and over. I don't know how many times you can create and build another type of rogue or another type of barbarian, you know, but whatever it's their uh their choice they can do whatever they want but uh we the fact that we still don't have a date for uh the leaderboards and i'm gonna stay true to my comment uh that my prediction and it's just a prediction leaderboards are gonna come around the last epoch 1.0 drop and you know why i've already stated why they're doing it they they don't want to lose more player base the few that remain uh, they don't want to lose those a part of them to the hype around what's going on with last epoch 1.0 and that's just mentioning a game that's in their genre there's other things happening in the third week and last week of february other updates to games other new releases that people may go to uh, that are not in the arpg uh, genre so bad news bad news if you ask me all bad news this is this is as about as low as this company and development team have gotten it really is unbelievable what is going on here and how this game has been so mismanaged it's not even funny and by the way if you are playing diablo 4 and you are enjoying it good for you fill your boots I'm glad you are. Enjoy. Uh, you're in the minority. The majority of the player base that wanted to play this game are not happy. And that's it. The gloves are off from now on. I'm not sugarcoating this. I never did sugarcoat it anyway. But my level of sugarcoating when it came to covering Diablo 4 content was 
I didn't want to create negative, 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 negative videos over and over. So I tried to stay away from that as much as possible. But now I have no choice. There's nothing positive to say about this game. And I do want to see this game get better. I do want to see this game turn the page and get out of this disastrous managing. It is, this is, and again, I only apply my previous experience as someone who's led a company, who's led teams. This is textbook how not to lead and manage a product. Textbook how not to do it. Sad really sad anyway let me know your thoughts and as usual if you could like comment or subscribe i would really appreciate it and hope to see you next time take care the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine healthy debate is always encouraged hate is never welcomed so get over it